All right, guys, market looking pretty good today. Bitcoin's still at 27222 Everything's pretty much pumped a little bit because they had that debt ceiling um, deal that came out on Friday. We'll see what happens on Monday. But I want to talk a little bit about Hex. You know, there's been a lot of FUD uh, recently about Richard Hart, Hex, um, the Posh Chain launch. You know, Posh Chain launched, what was it, a couple weeks ago? It pumped hard, then dumped. Folks, this is what happens. <laughs> Posh Chain finally um, launched after two years, had a little bit of a pump. The allure is now over. It's already out there, and everybody dumps after that. This is what happens in crypto. Did anybody really think that Posh Chain was going to launch and then Hex was going to go to the moon and then Posh Chain was going to go to the moon at, in the middle of a bear market? Guys, this isn't what happens. You know, I'm seeing all these articles. You know, Hexagons beware. Richard Hart scrambles to delete uh, tweets as SEC closes in. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um... I mean, here's one from Coindesk. The Posh Chain Sideshow tent is collapsing. For some crypto projects, actually launching is the worst possible plan. Guys, Richard Hart finally launched his Posh Chain in a bear market. This is what happens. It was never going to go to the moon. If Posh Chain is on a dump right now, which it kind of is, Now's the time to be buying because in the in the bull market, Pulse Chain and Hex are going to do absolutely incredible. Now, a lot of people have been asking, you know, why has Richard Hart, you know, for the last couple months, Richard Hart has kind of been on the down low. He hasn't been doing his normal craziness where he does the twerking videos and he posts pictures of the Lamborghinis and he tells everybody they're idiots and stupid <laughs> if they're not buying Hex. What happened? Why does this mean Richard Hart's trying to rug pull the project? He doesn't want anything to do with Hex anymore. No, guys, Richard Hart got an SEC letter, just like a lot of other people involved with Hex. That's why I made a video just a couple days ago about Litecoin and Charlie Lee sold all his coins. So now Charlie Lee can go out and talk and tweet about Litecoin and he doesn't have to worry about the SEC saying, hey, look, you're getting rich all promoting this coin. Richard Hart, everybody knows, is one of the biggest bag holders of Hex. He's like the biggest whale. So when he talks about Hex or Pulse Chain or whatever, he it, it can be said he's pumping his own bags. That is illegal. And the SEC is telling these guys to shut up. So Richard Hart is now in a position where he can't dump all of his Hex because if he does that, he's going to crash the price and people are going to be like, dude, you just dumped all your Hex. And he can't do the shilling that he used to do, which in a way is not good because his shilling was good for the project. Now, the good news is while he can't shill, he can still talk about the project, but he has to do it in a responsible, almost like a CEO type way. He can't do any of the grandiose, the twerking, the telling people, you know, what price to buy it at. He really can't even talk about price, to be, to be honest with you. So Richard Hart is kind of in a little bit of a predicament. He made a video a couple days ago just talking about the Pulse Chain release, and you can tell he's completely changed his tune, and he's now CEO Richard Hart. You know, no more of the garbage, no more of the twerking. He's just talking facts, pretty much. It's a short video basically telling people Pulse Chain has launched. Hello, everybody. It's Richard Hart here. I just want to let you know that the PulseChain.com mainnet has launched and PulseX.com on that mainnet has launched as well. I hope you guys are all enjoying it. We waited a couple years for this and it's finally here. So as Hello, you can see, this is completely, completely different Richard Hart than we've been seeing over the last couple years. He's not doing this because he's changed his personality or because, you know... He wants to do a rug pull, so he doesn't want to be involved with the project anymore. He just can't really show the project anymore because he's got the SEC coming after him. So my guess is the SEC probably sent him a cease and desist letter telling him he can no longer shill Hex. So he has to be very careful what he does. He's probably under active investigation. I don't think Richard Hart's done anything wrong. I mean, I think all the advice that Richard Hart's given over the years about crypto, I mean, he's pretty much called the tops, called the bottoms, told people not to trade, don't get involved with BlockFi, don't get involved with Celsius, stop listening to these guys like BitBoy and Crypto Rand who are promoting you to leverage traders. You guys can find my videos about Richard Hart. There's no history, at least with crypto, of Richard Hart, do Richard Hart doing anything wrong. 
Um, and a lot of people say, oh, well, before Richard Hart got into crypto, he was one of these telemarketer guys or he would spam people with, um, you know, emails and that's that was his business. All right, whatever. I mean, you know, he, during the guys, I mean, Richard Hart's my age, 43 years old. During the advent of the Internet, people were looking for all sorts of ways to make money. If he was some sort of email spammer, which that which in a way is a form of advertising, it's no different than when you get advertisements in the mailbox for like a company. Well, he just kind of did that with with email. Um, that's not like sleazy. You're not stealing anybody's money. So if that's all you got on Richard Hart, that he he was involved in mass spamming emails, uh, that's not good enough for me. So. This is the new Richard Hart. You're gonna, you're not gonna see the, 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 you know, the, the shilling Richard Hart anymore. The grandiose. I think one reason is he wants to see the project succeed, and he knows that if he continues on the path that he was on, it might not succeed because the SEC is gonna come down hard. So right now, um, Hex, Pulse Chain, all these coins essentially have to. Uh, succeed on their own. Yes, Richard Hart can be there. He can make a video talking about it. He can talk. A, he can make a video talking about when there's a release. He can do interviews and stuff like that. But I don't think you're going to see Richard Hart talking about price action. You know, talking, telling people they're idiots if they're not buying it. Um, advertising all his Ferraris and his Lamborghinis. I think he's realized that that's not good for the project. And to be honest with you, while it was fun to watch, he was taking that a little bit too far. So yeah, I mean, I think now is the perfect time to be buying coins like um, Hex or Pulse Chain. You know, there no it, it, this is no more risky than any, than any other meme coin. Um, it's a new blockchain, a new project. So there's no reason why Pulse Chain shouldn't, you know, pump like a like a mother um, going into the bull market. Now, of course, Pulse Chain is far more risky than buying Bitcoin. Hex is far more risky than buying Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, any of these established projects. I wouldn't be putting more than, you know, 5, 10% of my crypto portfolio in something like Pulse Chain or Hex. But I do hold some Hex. I hold a little bit of Pulse Chain and we'll see what happens. If it all goes to zero, it's not going to kill me. But I do trust Richard Hart and I think he's a smart guy. And I think he's a person that doesn't want the reputation of having a coin that didn't do well. So I think right now he's playing it safe and he's going to do whatever he can do to, to make sure that Hex and Pulse Chain succeeds. Um, you, can, you guys can Google it. If you, go, if you Google Hex, Pulse Chain, I already put up the one article. You're getting a lot of articles telling you how Hex is a scam. Pulse Chain's a scam. Richard Hart's a scammer. Folks, that's dumb money. If you thought Pulse Chain was, was going to do anything other than dump after its release, you have no business being in crypto. All projects, there's hype before they come out, they come out, they pump, and then they dump, especially in a bear market. Now, what's going to happen is Paul Shane is going to consolidate probably for the next six months, and then we're going to go into a bull market. And once once all these low cap coins, Paul Shane, Hex, um, they're going to pump crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Paul Shane does 100x from where it is right now going into the top of the next bull market. So yeah, putting a couple hundred bucks in, not a bad idea. But of course, you know, it is more risky than a lot of other projects. Of course, it's far more safe to buy Bitcoin right now than Pulse Chain. But look at it this way. You put $500 in Pulse Chain right now, you could turn that into six figures. You put $500 in Bitcoin, maybe you make, you know, what? $500. <laughs> so it's risk versus reward. And if you want to get rich in crypto, you have to take some risks. And Pulse Chain is a project that is risky, but it could do well. So I would say with, with Pulse Chain and Richard Hart, ignore the FUD. I haven't seen anything nefar nefarious he's done over the last couple of years in crypto. All his advice has been really, really good. The real scammers and the real scammers are like guys like Rand Nooner, Crypto Banter, BitBoy. You can go down the list that are promoting you guys leverage trading, um, scammy projects like UST, Luna. Guy, George from Cryptos R Us spent years trying to get you guys. He made probably hundreds of thousands of dollars off referral links, getting you idiots to go on to BlockFi and Celsius and iTrust Capital and all these scammy sites. Richard Hart was telling you not to do it. He said, you're going to lose all your money. But for some reason, a guy like George from Cryptos R Us, he's looked at as like honest and reputable when he spent years promoting you scams. But a guy like Richard Hart is not. It doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, folks, that's it. Like and subscribe. Talk to you later.